Hi, my name is Mishra. I lead product management for Waypoint at HashiCorp. Today, we will be discussing HCP Waypoint templates and add-ons that help platform teams define golden patterns to enable self-service for developers. HCP Waypoint is designed to empower platform teams to define golden patterns and workflows for developers to enable self-service for their application needs. We have seen that platform teams have this need to publish out golden patterns in their organization and share them with application developers. This may be for lack of knowledge or lack of time. These application developers don't want to learn infrastructure details. So the platform team want to offer them a point-and-click solution to build out their applications and provision their infrastructure needs on demand. So this entails not only infrastructure things like setting up VPCs, load balancers, VM, but also day two operations like build, deploy, release, anything regarding CI CD workflows, which are beyond initial provisioning of infrastructure. All this with the push of a button. Let's first take a look at the first set of golden pattern features in HCP Waypoint. First up, we have templates. As we talk about platform teams around the world, it's clear that there's growing complexity in the data centers that span both infrastructure and services. To tame this complexity, platform teams often rely on a variety of complex tools to support dev teams, which can provide inconsistent developer experience. Templates in HCP Waypoint allow platform teams to centrally define infrastructure patterns and maintain them over time for their organizations. Templates are built on top of HCP Terraform no-code modules to define the common infrastructure patterns, which include application definitions, dependencies such as databases, VCS repositories, and other critical items like security and compliance policies that might be required as part of an organization. These templates are then published and shared downstream with application developers. App developers can come in and browse through their company's golden patterns defined using templates and use them to create applications without worrying about the infrastructure details, allowing them to focus on building great applications. Now, as application needs evolve, app developers are faced with other challenges. As we know, application needs evolve through their life cycle, and the infrastructure requirements may change during that time. An application may need things like caches, cloud object storage buckets like S3, or other critical supported infrastructure. This is where add-ons come in. HCP Waypoint add-ons allow platform teams to define supporting infrastructure resources using HCP Terraform and make them available to application developers. Application developers can use add-ons to install or provision incremental infrastructure, things like caches, databases, load balances, or S3 buckets with just a push of a button. All right, let's now take a look at both templates and add-on feature sets in action. So here I have my HCP dashboard and I can go to Waypoint. In this case, I've already connected Waypoint uh, with HCP Terraform with a token. I'm gonna create a template, I'll give it a name. Uh, in this case, let's just use uh, Java uh, Spring Boot application as the name. Uh, so it's a pretty simple Java Spring Boot application. It's an example application. It's gonna add up the summary, which is just example Spring Boot application. And I'll select the Terraform modules. These you can find in your Terraform private registry. So you can just filter for no code modules. In this case, I'll use this Java ECS secrets manager, which is a no code module that I've already pre-created. So now I can just select that module. And then I can select an HCP Terraform project. In this case, this is a demo, so I'm gonna use a demo project. And then I have my input variables. It's a desired count, which is already pre-populated for me. In this case, I want this input to come from the developer. And I'm gonna add a GitHub org, which is just my name. I can go next. And now I can add some description uh, just about the template, describes what the template does. Again, it's a pretty straightforward example. So I'm just going to say an example, uh, Java application. Now I can import a developer instructions, and I can import this from a Terraform module readme. So I can hit import, and I can edit this up and make this anything. So it supports Markdown. So in this case, I'm going to use Java Spring Boot. And then I'll add, add up some description here. 
Again, this is totally up to you. You can customize this as you need. And then next up, we'll add some labels. In this case, I'm gonna use Java, Spring Boot, ECS as my three labels. I can hit publish to publish my template. All right, so now my template is ready to be consumed. So now I can go up to kind of creating the application. So this is the developer's view of Waypoint. So they come into applications, they can click create application, which will allow them to start on this journey. There'll be multiple templates. In this case, we just have one. So we'll select our Java Spring Boot application. I can enter an application name and that input variable that I'd asked. So let's enter an app name here. So it's my first Java app. And then I'll set a desired count, which is again, me prompted for an input. I can hit create application. So this will create my application and you can see automatically there's an HCP Terraform run that's already running, which is provisioning my infrastructure. And this essentially kicks off this, creates a workspace, starts provisioning my resources. It takes, takes about a minute to complete. We can also see some inputs here. All right, so that's ready. We can go to outputs and actually access both of these outputs, so my application and my repo URL. So first we'll go to the repo and check out uh, what pro got provision. In GitHub, you can see there's a GitHub Actions run that's running, so I can open up and you can see there's a building, building a Docker image in this case. Uh, I can also see, go to my settings and see some of, the, uh, some of the environment variables that are already set for me. So if I go to Maven, uh, I see the Docker token and username is automatically set. Again, I didn't do it. This is my platform team doing all the work for me. Uh, and then I can also see, you know, this run still going. I can see my readme for the GitHub repo. So this readme can be anything. You can templatize this GitHub repo as you need. And you can see other settings here. Now I can kind of switch back to Waypoint. And then I can actually access my application. Uh, so let's open this. This is a public URL. So you can see my Spring Boot application. It's fully functional, find owners. You can see that's here. And there's an error page that shows you what happened here. All right, so next up, I just wanna show you the, the, the actual cluster that's running this application. So there's an underlying infrastructure here. So you can see my demo applications in there. Um, I can see some of the kind of graphs, logs, uh, which just give me just application logs, uh, health and metrics, and so on. And I can also see tags, and these can be customized by the platform teams as needed. Uh, in this case, there's just a bunch of service tier environment tags that are on there. Now let's switch back to Waypoint. Now let's say, you know, my infrastructure needs change. Uh, I might need something else, so I'm gonna go to add-ons. This is how we deliver incremental infrastructure. So you can see there's, a, there's some add-ons that are available for me. In this case, I'll select my Reddish cache, given I need a cache. It gives me a description, the usage. I can just hit install as a de developer to install this cache and start using it. So this says it's successfully installed. I can see if the HCP Terraform runs running, which is the case, so I can click into the add-on. Now you see you know, this is being provisioned, and this allows me to essentially deliver incremental infrastructure uh, to application developers as an app developer. I just get a choice of add-ons that are customized for me. I can select from that list and essentially provision. And this varies from, from resource to resource. In this case, we are provisioning a cache, so it's fairly, fairly quick compared to a database. All right, so that's good. Uh, I can see my workspace as well. I can actually go back to access the output from this add-on. So if I go to output for this add-on, let me find that. I can see there's a cache cluster endpoint. This is the Redis cluster endpoint that I can just copy the value of and start using it in my application. And that's how easy it is to use add-ons in Waypoint. Let's talk more about templates and golden patterns in an organization. As golden patterns in an organization evolve, platform engineers have the need to keep their Terraform modules that back these patterns up to date. Waypoint templates now offer a new upgrade capability allowing updates to Terraform no-code modules to be pushed down to Waypoint applications created using these templates. This enables platform teams to update golden patterns defined by Waypoint templates and send those updates to application developers, allowing them to upgrade their applications. 
Let's take a look at this in action. So here I have my same Java Spring Boot application. So I can go to the template. And this template is actually backed by a no-code module, which I can browse in my registry. I can see the source code in GitHub. And here I'm making a change to add a new Cloud, CloudWatch dashboard to this, this particular Terraform project. So you can see the HCL here. I have my metrics defined as well. I have a few variables defined as well, which allow prompting of whether to create this CloudWatch dashboard or not. So now if I switch back to the registry, I can go to configure settings to update the version that is the designated version for this module. So I'll update this to the latest version, which is .13. I hit save. This essentially allows us to update this template in Waypoint. So if I go, Waypoint will show there's a new no-code module update that's available. I can go in, I can go to the settings and make sure I look at the template details. And I'll see that new variable that's being defined. This one, I want to be prompted to the app developer as they get these upgrades, and I hit save. Now, if we go from an app developer's perspective, we go to our applications, and we browse for all the applications. So we have one that we had just created. They'll see a new update that's available for them. So they can essentially view this update that's being pushed down by their platform teams, and they can decide, for example, in this case, I want to create the CloudWatch dashboard, so I'll apply this update. This essentially allows them to upgrade the application that they had created using that template. So now you see a new run is kicked off, which essentially allows us to provision any other changes that's been proposed by that module change, uh, and then it's running a Terraform workspace run. Now. I can just essentially view my new uh, provision, newly provisioned dashboard. So I go on here and see my, my first Java app ECS. Here we see a new graph that's available, new dashboard that's available for me in AWS. So that's how easy it is to use the upgrade capabilities in HCP Waypoint. In this video, we covered HCP Waypoint templates and add-ons that help provide a point-and-click experience to create applications and provision infrastructure. This allows platform teams to share golden patterns with their application developers to enable self-service experience for them as they create applications or provision any incremental infrastructure as their needs change in the future. To learn more, check out the links in description. Thank you for watching.